Hi, today we'll be talking about new module in Dynamics 365, which is called Vendor Collaboration. As you can see, Vendor Collaboration module is divided in multiple sections. One is Contact Purchase Orders and Consignment Inventory. Consignment Inventory section was reviewed by my colleague Alexey Kurashilov in the previous videos. In order to link external party to Dynamics 365, you need to create a contact and then link that contact to an existing vendor record. Let's do this. I'm going to create a contact record called IX365. When creating a record, you have to link a record to a specific legal entity and the vendor account. After the record is created, you need to provision vendor user, which will automatically create a workflow for AX365 system user to approve external user in the system. Let's do this. One additional field that you need to enter is an email address. And this email address will be an email address of our external user. One thing to be mindful of that Microsoft stated that they will not accept any emails with public domain names such as Gmail or Yahoo.com. You will need to enter your business justification information and make sure to check vendor collaboration check mark. There are two types of security roles that you can assign to an external vendor. One will allow you to maintain your external purchase orders and invoices. The second security role provides you with the same functionality mentioned in the previous role. Plus, it will give you the ability to add additional contacts and manage contacts requests. In my case, I'm going to give our external user both roles. So you can see after I click Submit, Vendor Collaboration Access setting has been successfully applied and the request created user has been submitted. Once the request has been processed, the status of the user request will be set to complete. So let's go back to our module, Vendor Collaboration module, and under Vendor Collaboration User Request Form, you can see that our record is pending approval. So if we drill down to that record, you can see that the workflow has been created and we can view our workflow history. So since I'm not the approver for this workflow, I'm gonna reassign it to myself. So after the reassignment request, you can see that I'm able to approve, reject, or delegate the workflow to another user. I'm not gonna process with a workflow approval for that user because I don't have access to the demo demo.com email account that we specified in the application. Another place that you can create external user from would be your vendor form. So if you go under Action Pane, Setup, and Contacts, you can view contacts and add contacts from here. So let's try and create a purchase order that we have an external user linked to that vendor account. In our case, it's going to be vendor account 1001. We're going to add a line to a purchase order. And the next step we want to do is we want to send confirmation to our vendor. Under Vendor Collaboration section, click Send for Confirmation. After confirmation was sent successfully, our external vendor would use the HTTPS address to log in onto the Dynamic 365 environment and they would go to purchase order confirmations form. And from this form, they can see our purchase order that requires approval. But there are three types of actions that our vendors can do to the purchase orders. One would be accept, reject, and suggest a change. So after clicking suggest a change button, I can suggest a change to the purchase order line. So I'm going to change the quantity from one to two and I'm going to click Accept with Changes. So if the Dynamic 365 user accepts my change, the purchase order should be automatically confirmed by Dynamic CX user. I can also type in Notes. So from the left, we can see that we send back a confirmation to the Dynamic 365 user. We go back to our old purchase order screen, and we can see that we have a purchase order with the approval status and external view. So under Action Pane in the Vendor Collaboration section, we can see that we can view our confirmation send history. We can view the responses. So let's view the response that was sent to us back from the external vendor. We can see that the line status is set to accept it with changes and the quantity is highlighted and is set to two. So that means if we accept this quantity, the external vendor wants us to automatically confirm this purchase order. So let's say instead of two, we want to purchase three. So in that case, we have to resend the confirmation back to vendor. So after I do the refresh, you can see that the send for confirmation button is available. I'm going to click that and send the PO for confirmation one more time. Under vendor collaboration module, you can see that we have one PO waiting for us to be approved. So in this case, we would review the purchase order line. We can see that the quantity was changed to three and we're going to accept it. So another piece of functionality that we can use from this module is for the external user to enter an invoice. So I'm going to go to my vendor collaboration module, click on invoicing, and we can see that we have zero in draft status, zero submitted, not approved, paid, and seven approved but not paid. I'm going to click new and I'm going to create an invoice. As you can see in the drop down, I'm only able to see purchase orders that are related to my vendor record. 
In our case, it's vendor 1001. I'm gonna enter invoice number. For the invoice date, we're gonna set as today date, description. The system automatically takes data from the purchase order and generate the lines for us. I'm gonna verify that the information is correct and I can close the record. After the Nemex 365 user you can go to accounts payable module and under vendor invoice entry workspace, they can see their pending invoices. And here it is, this is our invoice that was entered by external user. I'm gonna check the invoice and I'm gonna post it. And this will conduct our quick demo of vendor collaboration module in the Nemex 365. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel.